can also be either positive or negative. However, standard enthalpy of combustion, it will always be negative. Delta H naught C will always be negative because combustion is an exothermic reaction. So always, uh, so always, uh, always negative. Standard enthalpy change of neutralization will also be always negative because even neutralization is an exothermic reaction. So always negative. Standard enthalpy change of solution can be positive or negative depending on uh, what the situation is. So it can be either positive or negative. Standard enthalpy change of atomization will always be positive because it is, it, it is, it is occurring from the breaking of bonds and breaking of bonds is endothermic. So standard enthalpy change of atomization will always be positive, right? Because breaking of bonds is always endothermic. So uh, and, and uh, endothermic reactions have a positive delta H. So delta H naught ATM will always be positive, okay? Always endothermic. Standard enthalpy change of hydration is also always exothermic. Remember, standard enthalpy change of hydration is also always exothermic. So always negative because hydration, the hydration reaction is an exothermic reaction. So standard enthalpy change of hydration will always be negative. So this is what you need to know. You need to know these signs because sometimes they can ask you what the sign will be. So you can say either positive or negative depending on what it is or always positive or always negative, right? So this is it. So um, now we are now we are done with this chapter for today. We are done. So thank you for watching and um, I'll see you next time. You can practice papers at gcguide.org and you can email me or your doubts at alevelchemistryfree at gmail.com. The link to the past papers website and the email ID are given in the description so you can easily find them. Keep practicing, keep working hard. Thank you for watching. See you next time.